Let's sing while we count the oranges. Fun today! Fun today! What orange, two orange, bright and sweet. Three orange, four orange, what a treat. What? Count them, count down, let's all say. Learning numbers is fun today. Hey friends, ever wanted to make lip-synced animated videos like this but didn't know where to start? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to turn your ideas into a full animated video with consistent characters and lip-synced scenes. The best part? You don't need a big team or complicated software anymore. With AI, you can do it all yourself. And I have even better news. The creators of the lip-sync tool Lemon Slice and I have arranged a special deal to give away three free pro accounts in this video. Stick around and I'll show you how you can win one. If you're ready, let's get started. If you enjoy this kind of content, like the video and subscribe to the channel so YouTube will recommend more videos like these to you. As the first step, we'll generate our idea and prepare the script. For this, I'll use ChatGPT. First, I use a prompt like this. By the way, I'm linking all the prompts I use below in the video description so you can easily access them. With this prompt, I want it to give me five educational video ideas for children. I also want the characters to include a child, a boy or a girl, a mother, and an animal. That's because children mostly relate to their mothers and animals, so these kinds of ideas work better. All right, we now have our ideas. I take a quick look at them. I like the second one. In this idea, a child and their mother go to the market with a parrot to count fruits together. I think it could be quite a fun and colorful video with different fruits. After choosing this idea, I enter a second prompt. In this prompt, you just replace the X with the number of your chosen idea. With this prompt, we are creating voiceovers and the song, which will make the video more engaging. Yes, with the voiceover included, it's ready now. As you can see, each voiceover for each character is written out and I'm checking where the song comes in. Yes, it starts in scene four, where they begin singing and then the closing scene follows. So it has a really fun flow. We completed the idea and scripting step. In the second step, we'll create our scenes. For this, I use a prompt like this. I enter this prompt into the same chat, it generates 10 different scenes. You can change this number if you want, but the important part is that these scenes are created in a colorful and fun way for children with this prompt. Now our scenes are ready. I take a quick look, and yes, they turned out quite nice and well organized. 10 scenes in total. Next, to visualize these scenes, I use another prompt that generates an image prompt for each scene. Later, I'll use these image prompts and tools like Mid Journey or similar to turn the scenes into visuals. This prompt helps ensure that the scenes are high quality. You can pause the video and check out the details if you like. So, my scenes are ready. I quickly review the scene image prompts as well, and now we can move on to creating our characters. Before moving on to visual generation, our final step is creating the characters. For this, I use a prompt like this. This prompt lists out the characters in the story in detail. These details are important because they help us build the character consistency. Our characters are generated with quite a lot of detail. Their ages, face shapes, hair, overall appearance, and accessories. As a final touch, I turn these details into short paragraphs so they're easier to use later. And that's it. Our characters are now ready as paragraph style descriptions. Finally, I save everything I've created into a Google document. This makes it easier to use in the next steps. All the scenes, characters, and voiceovers are neatly organized in one file. All right. Now we can move on to the more fun parts. First, we'll generate our images. For this, I'm using the Piclamen app. It gives you three days of free use when you sign up, and that's plenty for trying it out. Of course, you can use other tools as well. The important thing here is that when we take the prompt for a scene, 
we add parentheses next to each character in the scene and include the detailed descriptions we created earlier. Let me show you a quick example. Here's the first scene we created. I really like the characters. Now let me quickly show the second one. I take the second scene, add the same character details in parentheses, and here's the result. As you can see, the characters remain consistent. Let me show you in a larger view. This is the second generated scene, and this was the first one. You can see the characters look the same across them. I'll generate the remaining scenes in the same way. In this step, we'll turn the images we created into animations. For this, I'm using the Kling app, but of course, you can use any tool you prefer. I just think this one is among the best. Once you're in the video section, you take one of your scene images and upload it. Then, in the prompt box below, you write how you want that scene to move. For example, based on the story, I wrote something like this. The mother and child are walking toward the market while the parrot is flying above them. Let's see how the result turned out. Yes, here it is. I think it looks quite good. I'll animate the other scenes in the same way. Now, I'll quickly use the Suno app to create the song. For this, I open Suno, go to the document I saved earlier, and take the song lyrics from there. Then, I select the lyrics option, paste the words in, and enter kids music as the style. Suna generates two versions for me. I listen to both of them and download the one I like to my computer. One important reminder, if you want to use a song in a commercial video, you'll need to subscribe to Suno. Now we'll create the voiceovers for our scenes. If you haven't heard of it before, we'll be using the Eleven Labs app, one of the best text-to-speech tools out there. When you go to the voice section, you'll find a very large library. If you open the filter panel, you can sort through voices in detail and access many different options. You can also create original voices by entering your own prompts. For generating speech, you switch to the text-to-speech section. I've already chosen the voices for this story. Let's do an example. I take one line from the narrator, paste it into the app, select the voice I picked for the narrator, and create the voiceover. Another example. In the first scene, the parrot has a line. I copy that paste it in, choose the voice I assign to the parrot and make the creation. I do the same for all the characters across all the scenes and download all the voice files to my computer. Now we've reached the most fun part, lip syncing. For this, we'll use the Lemon Slice, which I think is the best lip sync tool on the market. I am leaving the link below. First, you need to go to the website and sign in. Then you'll see a clean and simple interface. On the left, there's the Conversations section. Here, you upload the scene where you want to apply lip sync. For example, I'm using our second scene, which includes the child, the mother, and the parrot. All three together. I'll apply lip sync to all three. What's impressive is that while many apps struggle to even handle one character properly, this tool lets us do multiple characters at once. When selecting characters, it's important not to overlap your selections, otherwise it gives an error and won't generate. After selecting two characters, I add the third one below, the parrot, and assign it as well. If you like, you can assign voices and write scripts here like this. But since I already prepared the voice files earlier, I simply upload them. For example, I upload the child's voice file to character 1, then do the same for character 2. 
the mother, and character three, the parrot. Scrolling down, there's a preview option where you can quickly test before spending credits. The tool offers two modes, 2.5, which animates facial movements, and 2.7, which also adds some body motion, but only works with up to two characters. Since this scene has three characters, I chose 2.5. I'll show you 2.7 later. Let's see how it turned out. One, two, three apples. Great job, Alex. Three apples for us. One, two, three apples. Yes, the lip syncing is smooth and lively, bringing the scene to life beautifully. Now, I'll create an animation using the 2.7 engine. For this, I select a two-character scene. I choose the characters again, but this time I also include more of their bodies. Then I upload the voiceovers and select the 2.7 option. The app also asks for a short video prompt, so I type in a simple one and start the generation. Let's see the result. Wow, Mom, look at all the fruits. S. Alex, let's buy some apples first. Can you help me count them? Yes, it turned out really well. This time, in addition to lip syncing, it also animated the body. So it's not just a lip sync tool. We can actually say it brings the characters to life based on their speech. Now I'll move on to the part with the song. I open the scene where the mother and child are standing in front of the oranges and start singing. This time, I switch from script mode to music mode first. Then, I upload the song we created earlier. Since the 2.7 engine has an 8 second limit, I'll make one 8 second version with 2.7 and another full-length version with 2.5 engine. First, I generate the 2.5 version. Now, I generate the 2.7 version. Let's compare the results. One orange, two orange, bright and sweet. Three orange, four orange, what a treat. Count them, count them, let's all say. Learning numbers is fun today. With the 2.5 engine, even if only the lips are moving, it is very lively. Now let's see the result of 2.7 engine. One orange, two orange, bright and sweet. Three orange, four orange, what a treat. With the 2.7 engine, the characters move along with the music. It looks much more lively and engaging. We have everything ready now. Let's move on to the final edit. For editing, I'm using CapCut. First, I import all the files into the project. Then I arrange the voices and scenes according to the flow of the story. One note here, you don't have to use each generated scene in its exact place. For example, I take a scene from the middle and use it in the intro. Now, I add the song to the part where it belongs. After about 8 minutes of arranging, I have all the scenes and voiceovers in place. Next, I'll smooth out the video with transitions. I open the transitions panel and drag different ones between the scenes. That's all it takes. Just drop a transition between two clips. I repeat this for the rest of the video. After that, I add some effects to make the scenes more enjoyable. For example, in the music section, I use a collage effect to give it a music video vibe. Finally, I add subtitles. For this, I go to the text section, select auto captions, and generate them. Then, from the right panel, I adjust their style and appearance. Since this is a children's video, I choose colorful and lively captions. Now everything is ready. Time to export. I click export, make sure 4K is selected, and let it render. And that's it. 
The video is ready in just a short while. All right, now I'm going to show you the final video. Don't go anywhere because right after that, I'll explain in detail how you can join the contest and win one of the three pro Lemon Slice accounts. Today, Alex and his mom are going to the market. Their colorful friend, Paco the parrot, is coming along too. Let's see what they find. Wow, mom, look at all the fruits. Yes, Alex, let's buy some apples first. Can you help me count them? One, two, three apples. Great job, Alex. Three apples for us. One, two, three apples. Now let's get some bananas. There are four bananas. Four bananas, Squawk. Let's sing while we count the oranges. Fun today. Fun today. One orange, two orange, bright and sweet. Three orange, four orange, what a treat. Count them, count down, let's all say. Learning numbers is fun today. Alex, you counted so well today. Three apples, four bananas, and four oranges. Counting is fun. And that's how Alex, Mom, and Paco learned numbers at the market. What will they count next time? Okay, everyone, that's everything on this tutorial. Now let's get to the Lemon Slice giveaway. Here's how to enter. First, sign up on the platform with the link in the description. Then, Leave a comment sharing what you like about Lemon Slice and what you would change. That's all it takes to enter. And I will personally reply to your comment to confirm your entry. In two weeks from when this video goes live, I'll reveal the winners. I'll post a pinned comment announcing the winners and also reply directly to each winner. Three of you will win a free pro account. Best of luck to everyone. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.